today. Today I brought, I'm going to bring you a new story and we're going to talk about the parts of a flower, the parts of a plant. So we already talked a little bit about plants and we sorted living and non-living things. And we said that plants are living things so they need air to breathe and they make their own food and they grow. Okay, so we already talked about the life cycle of a plant a little bit. Remember, it's like a circle. So first we start with the seed and then we have a little sprout and then a mature plant or an adult plant and then our flower with the petals. Okay, and we talked about how plants need sun, what else? Water and soil and they also need air to breathe too. So we're gonna read a story today called Sunflower House, and then we'll talk more about our parts of a plant. This story is by Eve Bunting, so she is the author, she wrote the words, and it's illustrated by Katherine Hewitt, so the illustrator drew all the pretty pictures in this story. So, this story really shows our life cycle and how the life cycle is like a circle. It can start over and over and over again. So let's read and find out. First I pull out all the weeds, then I sow my sunflower seeds. It says to set them in a line, but Dad says round and round is fine. So he is planting his seeds in a what shape? A circle, that's right. I wonder why he's gonna plant his seeds in a circle. Hmm. I give them water every day and shoo the pesky birds away. Go eat the berries on the tree. These sunflower seeds belong to me. So we can plant the seeds, but we know birds love seeds too. So take a look at our little seed. What is starting to grow down into the soil? Hmm. You're right, those might be the roots. We'll talk about that afterwards. So there's our seed, we planted our seed. What is going to come next? The package says they're guaranteed. A mammoth flower grows from each seed. My friend Bernice says, there's no way. You don't know everything, I say. Wait, look what is coming up. Oh, a little sprout. Yes. The stems poke up all ringed around a pale green circle in the ground. Look, his flowers are growing in a circle. They're growing tall, they're growing fast. What is he using? What does it look like? He's using a ruler. He's measuring his plants. Because plants grow, we can measure how big they get and that's a good way to see how they're growing. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, sunflowers at last. A frilly yellow, all frilly yellow, big and bright. Mammoth is the word, all right. So these are called mammoth sunflowers. Why do you think they're called mammoth sunflowers? Look at our friend here and look how big the flowers are. So what does mammoth mean? Mammoth must mean Big, super big. Their petals open wide and spread a golden roof above my head. My friends come rushing down to see the sunflower house hand grown by me. There's lots of room inside for three. Mom brings us cookies and iced tea, but mom and dad can't fit at all. They're much too big and wide and tall. So they grew their sunflowers in a circle so that they can sit inside of it. That's so cool. All summer long, the house is ours. We play in it for hours and hours. It's a castle, it's a cage, where jungle bees sit, roar and rage. So they're playing in their sunflower house and pretending, so fun. My friends sleep out with me one night, bundled up and snuggle tight. Moon shadows shiver on the ground. The sunflowers whisper all around. So they're playing in it at nighttime like it's a tent. So cool. Yeah. 
They whisper songs of heat and rain and things too secret to explain. I see the stars play peekaboo and wish a wish that can't come true. One day the leaves are tinged with brown. A, s a flower comes tumbling, rumbling down. Next day some more bend over and fall. And now it's not a house at all. What is happening to the sunflower? It's not summer anymore. And after summertime, when it starts to get colder, what happens to the trees? That's right, they lose all their leaves. So flowers can't live all winter either. So they start to droop and turn colors too. We tie it up with strings and sticks, but it's impossible to fix. It's gone, there's nothing we can do, not even with the glue's all glue. They're trying to fix it because they want it back, but it's made out of flowers. And remember, our flowers is a life cycle. It goes around and around. Wait! Look, look at the flowers. They're looking in the tops of them. There's still the puffy middle part that's filled with seeds enough to start another sunflower house next spring with walls, a roof, and everything. It's neat to think when someone something's gone, a part of it goes on and on. It's such a super duper plan, we pick out all the seeds we can. So even though the sunflowers for now are going away, they can save the seeds to plant for next year. Our pockets bulge, the blue jays come, the sparrows, crows, they all take some. We still have lots and lots to share. Now be aware, prepare, take care. So they're getting ready for planting more sunflowers for next year. Next summer, they'll be everywhere. So they're taking the seeds so that they can plant them again and again. Remember, we started with a seed, and then we get a sprout and a big plant, and our flower comes out, and the flower makes more seeds so we can plant them again and again. Because our flowers don't last all year long, they go away in the fall time because they can't live during the summer when it, or the winter when it's so cold. So we can always plant more seeds in the spring, just like right now. So, I wanted to show you, I picked, I picked a plant out of my yard so I can show you the parts of the plant. This is a daffodil that I got out of my yard. And look at the different parts. <gasps> wow, you can see which parts were under the dirt. I washed it off a little bit, but this was the part that was poking out and all this was under the dirt. Can you see the roots? The roots, so our roots are this part of the plant right here, the roots. Okay, so this is an important part of the plant. It's kind of like hair that comes down at the bottom and grows down into the dirt. These help that plants stay in the dirt so they don't fall over and they help do something else. Hmm. In my science video yesterday, I showed you how the celery sucks up the water. So that's what our roots do for the plant. They help the plant drink the water out of the soil. So friends, tell me which, where do you think on our picture right here, which part is the roots? Hmm, is it at the bottom or the top? I have my word right here. Root. There's our little R. Root. Hmm, you're right. They are at the bottom. They're growing down into the dirt. Good. And then, so, we said that we start off a plant by planting a seed. Now daffodils grow from something called a bulb. It's kind of, it's a type of seed. It's a really big seed instead of a tiny seed. Daffodils grow from a bulb. See how it has this round white part here? That is the daffodil's seed. 
apart. So the daffodils grow from the bulb and then they start growing up. And what's this part right here, friends? Hmm, it's the part that holds the plant up straight. Just like if you sit up nice and tall and straight, your spine or your backbone up all the way down your back, that's what helps hold you up straight. And this part right here is called the, starts with an S, stem, the stem. So that part right there is the stem. Where is the stem on my flower picture? Is it at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom? You're right, it is in the middle. It's this straight part right down the middle. That's our stem. So I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Our stem is what holds our flower up nice and tall, just like how our back holds up us up nice and tall. And then, the next part is the part that helps the flower make its food. This part right here. What is this part called? Sometimes they look like this too. Starts with an L. The leaf. The leaf. Good. We have two of these on our flower picture. One leaf. and two leaves. So we have a leaf and a leaf. There's our stem and our roots. Okay, and the last part at the top, our pretty colorful part that usually has the colors and the pollen inside is the, what is it friends? Starts with, the flower. Yes, the flower has the pretty colorful petals and the pollen in the middle. Our flower. Very nice. So maybe you can find some plants in your yard and if you carefully dig them up, you might be able to see the roots and you can find the stem and the leaves and the flower parts of your plant. Okay friends, so what we're gonna play next is a which one is missing game. So I have my grid here, which means they go across and down ways, and you can see what is the same about these pictures across the top. What is the same? That's right, they're the same color. So we have a row of yellow cards, a row of blue cards, a row of pink cards, and a row of purple cards at the bottom. And they all have similar pictures on them. And if we look at the line that goes down this way, they are all the same picture or color. They are the same picture. So this row is all flower. This part is all, what's the part that we said was the, holds up the flower nice and tall right here? The stem, so we have all stems on this side. Down this way, these are all the roots. And last we have the leaves. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide. If we were at school, we would hide our eyes, okay? And I'm gonna take one out, and you're gonna see if you know which picture and or the color that is missing. Okay, are you ready? Hide your eyes. <gasps> which one is missing? Hmm, it was right there. Okay, so if we look across, we can see that what color is missing? <gasps> Yellow is missing, good. And if we look down, what picture is missing? Is it the flower? Nope, 
yellow flowers there. Is it the stem? Nope, our yellow stem is there. Is it the leaf? Nope, we have our yellow leaf. Which picture is missing? The yellow root. The yellow root is missing. Good job, friends. Okay, let's play again. Ready, hide your eyes. Which one is missing now? It was there. So think, which color is missing? And which picture is missing? It is pink. We're missing a pink one, okay? And which picture is missing? Is it the pink leaf? Is it the pink root? Nope. Is it the pink stem? Nope. We're missing the pink, the pink flower. Good job. Okay, let's play one more time. Or let's play again. Hide your eyes. Which one is missing? color and what picture hmm. it is the blue we're missing one blue picture and which picture is missing we're missing a blue card which picture is it leaf mm -mm. roots nope are we missing the blue flower we're missing the blue stem, the blue stem. Good job. Okay, let's play one more time, friends. Hide your eyes. Which one is missing? It's in a corner, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Which one was right here? What color? Yellow? Blue? Pink? <gasps> purple is missing. Purple. And are we missing the flower? Nope, we have our purple flower. Are we missing the stem? Nope, we have our stem. Are we missing the purple roots? Which picture is missing, friends? <gasps> the purple leaf. Good job, super, super. Okay, thanks for playing that game with me today. And I will see you next time. Make sure you take a walk outside and check out those plants that are growing and see if you can see any parts of the plant that we talked about today. All right, friends, have a good day. I'll see you next time, bye.